All right, so it's actually such a nice day that I figured I would go outside to do this uh, this unboxing here. And I am doing it one-armed, I'm sorry. Uh, I've ordered a tripod amongst many other things for my channel, but none of it's here yet. I'm not even in the studio I'm normally in, but it's an outdoor unboxing, so it could be fun. I'm gonna do my best to keep everything steady, not shaky, and thank God there's built-in image stabilization with the iPhone 12 Pro, so hopefully this comes out okay. <laughs> All right, so I will just attempt to unbox this here with one hand. Open it up here, some documentation. So this here, is the optical viewfinder so this particular camera doesn't actually have a viewfinder built in uh, it's sort of an attachment and when i ordered this package i didn't actually know this was included and i'm not really a photographer but it's nice to have this this is definitely a really cool thing to have if i do want to start taking pictures that's going to be essential strap here classic canon camera strap this here so this looks to be the charger for the battery which i presume is in here somewhere as well maybe it's this guy here oh no sorry it's not it's the lens here we go here's the the battery that this camera takes and I'll have to at some point purchase a backup battery and then the camera itself so I think what I'm gonna do I don't know if I can really unwrap this with one hand but we'll try some people walking by very suburban neighborhood you guys can tell I had it tough eh all right folks so here you go here is the camera itself and I have to say it's quite beautiful I just really like the appearance and I, I had a DSLR before and this one's just so much lighter and gonna be so much more mobile so all this stuff is sort of here in pieces what i'm going to do is pause the video now and assemble all of this and then i'll just show you the finished product all right so i'll see you soon this touch screen is really responsive oh my gosh it honestly feels like i'm using like a smartphone touch screen which i know is one of the biggest appeals to canon is their user interface and their touch screens are just super responsive so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put it on movie mode here now it's on movie recording and it says choose a shooting mode. Normally I shoot in manual and I adjust ISO and I set the white balance and all that stuff. But because I want you guys to see the kind of experience you'll get out of the box, I'm just gonna leave everything on auto. Everything's determined automatically in this mode. We'll keep it like that for now. That's, what I'll get, that's how I'll get all my test footage. Just so you guys can sort of see what to expect with the kit lens in auto. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually attach the lens and it says that the battery is low right now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll actually charge it up a little bit so it doesn't die on us while we're getting footage. Okay, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I put the lens on and it's all powered up. It has about half of a battery charge now. Everything is on auto. We have the quick selection menu here. We can see that auto white balance is engaged here. We have the autofocus uh, with the eye tracking and uh, it's shooting 4K right now at 30 frames per second. I'm gonna go just shoot a bunch of random test footage with this guy now, and hopefully you'll be able to see the uh, the difference here. Yeah, I'm really excited, so let's just get right into this. All right, so I am now shooting on the Canon I almost called it the SL2. It is not the SL2. I'm shooting on the Canon M6 Mark II, and I have to say I'm really impressed with the autofocus. Uh, the eye detection is doing a really good job. I'm moving my face. I'm also moving around, spinning in circles, and the light's kind of changing, and it's doing a great job of keeping my face in focus, which is obviously a great thing. And I'm shooting in 4K right now, 30 frames per second, so I'm excited to see how this will look. I'm excited to get this into Premiere and see the quality of everything. The flip-up screen is great. I can see myself very clearly. It doesn't have the swivel out screen, but that's that's okay. I, I look absolutely amazing. No, I mean, the, the, the image looks great. I'm. I'm okay. One of the things I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of turn the camera around. Again, everything is on auto and I'm just gonna start filming some random stuff and see how the footage looks. So, yeah. All right, so what you just saw there was stock footage, nothing really modified or edited. It was just full auto for everything. The only thing I did, the only time I intervened at all is just to tap the screen to readjust a focus point. Uh, I'm also using the kit lens and I'm not gonna do anything crazy in Premiere. If there are any modifications I do in Premiere, I'll let you know, but I, I plan on leaving it just as is. One of the things I like about Canon is their color science is really good. I like the way the skin tones look. As far as everything else goes, I think that's pretty much the video. So thank you guys for watching so much. Uh, there's gonna be more videos to come 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, take it easy, live well, long, prosper, something rather, I don't know. Bye.